Hey everybody, Charles here. It's early in the morning. Well, it's not that early. Nine o'clock. I'm a retiree, so that's uh, god awful early for me because I don't have to go to work like the rest of you uh, working class Joes and punch a time clock. You know, I don't have a time clock to worry about. Good morning, Charles. Cheers. That's why I'm drinking out of a measuring cup. I buy glasses, but I smash them within hours of buying them. I don't punch a time clock. I have roosters to get me up in the morning. <clears throat> if I had a shotgun, I would not have roosters waking me up in the morning. Anyhow. Uh, but anyway, I'm here. Uh, I'm not rubbing that in or nothing, you know. I'm just stating facts. Facts is facts. Uh, I'm uh, wondering about this whole global warming thing. Uh, that's a worldwide... Uh, issue for all of us. To, we got to get global warming under control, according to Al Gore. Very true. According to Al Gore, and over 660 international geophysics, uh, geoscience organizations, tens of thousands of scientists in 65 countries at least, over 13,900 peer-reviewed science papers, and scientists for 180 years plus, and Al Gore, yes. Who uh, preaches the gospel of global warming. You know, something catastrophic might happen, like... Not just might happen, but of course already has, is still happening, will continue to happen. Anyhow... The earth will explode or implode or... Uh, uh, set itself on fire and be, uh, you know, will be melted by the sun. Melting, melting! No, 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 and no. When you present an argument that no scientist out there states is happening, will happening, could happening, you are doing that because you want to attack a position that no scientist states, therefore no scientist defends! That is, oh, so much easier than attacking positions scientists actually do defend. What a world! What a world! Yeah, well, I'm in Michigan. Michigan? That's like saying, I'm in New Jersey. There's no place called Michigan. Just as there's no place called New Jersey. If there was a place called Michigan, People wouldn't live there. There would be soy substitute people existing there. They wouldn't actually be living there. From all the jokes I've heard of Michigan, people don't actually live in Michigan. They just kind of exist in Michigan. And it's 16 degrees this morning, this December 28th, and my man berries are frozen to the seat. Dude! I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, okay, I, I'm really not sorry, but anyhow. I'm, my hands and fingers are all tingly and my feet lost feeling 20 minutes ago. Therefore, all the scientists in the world and Al Gore are wrong. Really? I want global warming right now to come to me here in Michigan and warm me up so I won't freeze to death. You live in Michigan? Live? I find that an uh, extraordinary claim. Let's see if it's true. If people actually live in Michigan. If indeed there is such a place. Well, holy horseshit, there is a place called Michigan. It appears to be in Canada. No wonder I'd never heard of the place. The accumulative effect of human-caused climate change on Michigan is a very slight increase in temperature averages over the past hundred years or so. What really frosts my balls is that the soy substitute so-called people that exist in Michigan are getting almost three and a half inches more precipitation than they used to a mere hundred years ago. We could really use that precipitation, i.e. rain and snow, here in the American Southwest. There just ain't no justice. There are over 660 international science organizations, institutions, and societies that all agree that the scientific consensus on the issue of global climate change is 
humans have caused and are causing global climate change. That includes global warming. President-elect Al Gore is merely stating what the scientific consensus already is. And yet, there are many denialists out there who insist that they believe that Al Gore is dictating what the scientific consensus is. They have it backwards. Nor does the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change dictate what the scientific consensus is. The IPCC assesses and then reports what the scientific consensus is. Al Gore did not tell over 33,000 scientists what to write in their almost 14,000 peer-reviewed science papers, only 24 of which reject the scientific consensus. Nor did Al Gore dictate to the Arctic sea ice to melt and not reform. If he did, I'm goddamn impressed, because it obeyed.